What's up everyone? Welcome to my 23rd tutorial in PHP. And in this tutorial, I am going to be adding a table to the database we just made. So hopefully you're watching right from 22 and you already made your database. So go ahead and go up to your main panel and scroll down to this thing called PHP My Admin. What this does is allow you to add tables to your database. So on the left side of your screen, you will see all the databases that you made. And this little number in parentheses, that's how many tables are in your database. Right now we have game with zero tables in it, so go ahead and give that a click. And let's go ahead and make our first table. As you can see, it says no tables found in this database. And the first thing it's going to ask you for is to name your, t your table. I'm going to go ahead and, na and name mine game. And another thing it's going to ask you for is the number of fields you want. Now, field is just a piece of information that's in your table. So since we're going to be adding ID for organizing our table, uh, we're going to be want to getting the user's username. We're going to want to be storing their email and storing their password for them. So we want ID, username, email, password. So let's go ahead and click four for four pieces of data go ahead and click go and you are ready to begin making your table now what a field is is like I said is just the basic label of the data and since this is ID now let me explain to you guys what ID means ID is what 99 percent of people who are making these kind of tables use just to organize your data um, I personally don't use it and I don't like it but just for the sake of learning it I'm gonna start out with the guys ID they also call it a primary ID sometimes this type right here is what data type you want varchar is pretty much like uh, characters and stuff you're gonna be working with a uh, probably int for integers or date a lot there are other different kinds of ones like small integers for small numbers big for big floating for floating decimal points and uh, all these other ones but let's go ahead and just click I'm gonna click big integer for big numbers in the length of values is how much maximum data you can store in this field so I'm gonna say alright no more than a hundred numbers collation you wanna leave that default attributes both of these you want to leave default. Not null, you want to always put it not null. That means you need something in here. Why anyone would make an empty uh, field, I have no idea. If you do, please let me know because I'm interested. And extra, you're going to want to go ahead and auto increment only your ID field. Now what an auto increment is, it's going to automatically increase each input by one. So the first person who registers is going to get the ID 1. The next person 2, the next person 3. And it's going to keep going on like that. And it's going to work out just fine for you. Another thing you want to do is go ahead and check primary key. And what this does is tell uh, MySQL, all right, this is the main way we're going to organize data from the ID. This is the most important field, so that's why it's primary. You need to have a primary ID. So this is the only field really that's uh, messed up. <laughs> like we have to do a bunch of different stuff too. The other ones are a piece of cake, so just bear with me. Um, let's see, we wanted a username, a varchar, which just means uh, characters. Let's uh, give that a max of 20. We're also gonna want an email. Let's give that a max of 50, since uh, some people have some pretty lengthy emails and give password which has a max of 20 now once we have all that filled out go ahead and click save and again we don't have to change the uh, extra or primary key for any of these only need the ID so go ahead and save that and as you can see it says table has been created if you get any errors right here then you did something wrong but as long as you did what I did you'll be just fine so now we can go ahead and add stuff to our table. As you can see, we have a table right now, but we have nothing in it at all. 
So let's go ahead and add some uh, data. Let's go ahead and click 1 for the primary ID since it starts at 1. Username is going to be Bucky20. There we go. The email is um, testing at email.com. And my password is just going to be password for right now. Go ahead and click go. And this will automatically insert data into your table. Now, we're only, I'm only doing this to show you guys that there is data in the table. And it, if you see this, then it means it worked just fine. Insert it into row one. But most of the time, we're going to be letting the user insert their own data in the table which I'm going to be teaching in the next couple of tutorials. We're going to be from a website having them insert their email, username and all that good stuff into a form, submitting it and it'll automatically store that information on our website. And anytime you want to look at all your table, all your tables with all the data in it, go ahead up here to your little browse button and click that. And as you can see, we got our username, email and password all labeled for us in our table. So remember, browse, watches everything, insert inserts data, and besides that, um, that's pretty much all you need to know. So study this tutorial, make sure you know how to make a table and insert data into it, and uh, pay attention. And another thing, make sure please that you're watching this tutorial in high def. So study this tutorial. I hope you learned something, and in the next tutorial, we're going to be creating our first computer game, or at least the registration form. Thanks for watching.